All right, this is third grade, module seven, lesson 15. And in this lesson, students are gonna be solving word problems. And we're gonna be using those word problems to help our students really nail down the meaning of perimeter, meaning of vocabulary words. So uh, let's get started. So really what I've learned is that we need to help our students be able to read the, wor the words and parse out the meaning. Math words are so, uh, I don't know, heavy in terms of the value of each word is so important. And uh, so it's not like reading a book. You really have to read the same sentence over and over and, and draw pictures. And then as you read the words, draw a picture and then go back and read the words again. And, and so that's really what I've learned is um, word problems are, are actually okay and easy for students if they understand that they're probably going to end up having to read the, the words three or four times. Unfortunately, I notice a lot of students read as if it's a novel, and you only read it once. You don't go back and read the same paragraph in a book multiple times. The way you read a novel is you just read, and uh, that is not how you do word problems. So let's get started. It says, Miguel glues a ribbon border around the edges. So automatically glues a ribbon border around the edges, so that means we're talking perimeter, all right? And so all those words really mean perimeter of a 5-inch by 8-inch picture to create a frame. And so this picture to create a frame, this means it's a rectangle. All right, so a lot of words going together to mean rectangle, and a lot of words going together to mean the word perimeter. And then what is the total length of the ribbon? So again... That's the perimeter. And so let's draw a picture of what's going on. And there's our rectangle. And we know that it is uh, 5 inches by 8 inches. Right here is the 8 inches. And then our job is to find the perimeter of this figure and the big parents and teachers. We're going to let our students come up with a variety of ways on to get the answer, although there is only one answer, uh, but there are a variety of ways that our students can get that answer. Now here, a building at Elmira College has a room shaped like a regular octagon. So there we go. We now know it's eight sides, and they're all the same length. So those two, two words, regular, and regular and octagon mean a lot. It means it's eight sides, and all of those eight sides are the same length. And it says the length of each side is five feet. What is the perimeter? So if we wanted to, we could try and draw. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> there is my eight-sided figure. Oh boy, that's a horrible-looking eight-sided figure. Uh, but we know that each length is supposed to be five feet. So each one of these is supposed to be five feet. Five, 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 and five. Uh, and that's going to be the, enough information for our students to really understand um, how to find the perimeter. So Manny fences in a, and here's the key phrase, rectangular area. Now, parents and teachers, uh, a lot of times teachers want to uh, teach key words. Um, the word of means multiply. The word in all means to add. And here's a key word, area, where it's going to backfire if you're a teacher who simply tries to teach your kids key words. It's not about just keywords. It's really about reading for understanding, reading for the concepts. Uh, because in this case, the word area is, is going to mislead our students if all you saw as a kid was the word area. So uh, we have a rectangular area, and the area measures 35 yards by 45 yards. What is the total length of fence that Manny uses? So uh, it's really kind of tricky. You can't just use that word and... Uh, and have that be what our students look for. So what we have is we have a, a yard 
and we're going to say 35 yards and 45 yards. And again, you've got this yard, the word backyard, and then we've got the word yard over here. Boy, a lot of the words are so darn important in mathematics. And so there's our, our backyard, and we're supposed to figure out the total length of fence that Man Manny uses. So the idea is we want to know if we were going to put fencing all around this backyard, how much fencing would we need? And that's basically perimeter. So here we've got Tyler, and Tyler uses six craft sticks to make a hexagon. So what's a hexagon? It's a six-sided figure. But because we're using six identical sticks, they're all six inches long, that means it's a regular hexagon. So our regular hexagon is going to look something like that, and each length is six inches. So you've got six inches, six inches, six inches, six inches, six inches, six inches. And that is enough information for us to find the perimeter of that hexagon. Parents and teachers, lots of ways to get the answer. We could just use addition, we could use multiplication, or we can do some sort of combination of those two. So let students fall in love with being creative in terms of finding out how to get the answer. Now, everybody should get the same answer, but we don't all have to follow the exact same path to get there. Now, Francis made a rectangular path, so there's our key, key piece of information. It looks like there's going to be a rectangular path going on here. And then it says um, the width of the path is 2 feet, the length is 28 feet longer than the width. What is the perimeter of the path? Man, there is just so much stuff going on here. So let's see. We're going to go back and says Francis made a rectangular path. So I'm going to draw a rectangular path. So there is my rectangular path. And we are told that the width is 2 feet. So let's call this the width. And we're going to call that 2 feet feet. And then it says the length, that's, that's this thing, is 28 feet longer than the width. So this is not 28, it's actually 30. Because it needs to be 28 feet longer than the width. So now our job is to find the perimeter. So that means if this length right here is 30 feet, and this one is 30 feet. And if this width here is 2 feet, that means this feet width over here is also 2 feet. We now have enough information to find the perimeter of the path. So basically, I want you to notice we read the question, then we drew a picture, then we read the question again, added a little bit to the, the picture, then we read the question again. You know, it, we... Parents and teachers, we want to get our students used to the idea that they're probably going to have to read the question two or three or four times in order to finally draw enough information to get the answer. The last problem, well, we've got a gym teacher uses tape to mark a four-square court. I love four-square. And the outer square um, has side lengths of 16 feet. So here's 16, here's 16. Here's 16, here's 16. What is the total length of tape the teacher uses to mark just square A? Ooh. So I love the fact that they've given us a picture. And we're going to assume that all of these are squares, because that's why it's called four squares. So you've got four squares. And if this whole length here is 16 feet, what does that mean? just this little piece right here is. Well, that's probably 8 feet, which means this length here is also 8 feet, which means this length right here is also 8 feet, and this length here is also 8 feet. So we now know how much tape the gym teacher is going to use 
in order to make square A. And a quickie, that'd be 4 times 8 feet. And that wraps up. Pretty creative one. It's Grade 3, Module 7, Lesson 15, Solving Word Problems to Really Nail Down the Meaning of Perimeter.